I'll let you know when I do. It'll probably be three years from now. Hi and welcome back to Veggies by Eos. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you seven tips to wake up at 7 a.m. every day along with just tips to wake up early, become a morning person, doesn't necessarily have to be 7 a.m. for you, and I'm going to show you my personal morning routine. So I think I'm going to start with my morning routine just because I'm sure some of you are here just for the morning routine and then you can get on with your day. Some of you might want to see the morning routine and the tips. So my first tip is to have a morning routine. It doesn't have to be crazy, doesn't have to be long. Honestly mine's pretty Pretty simple and doesn't take me very long, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes most days. The very first thing I do is get up, open up my shades, and then go ahead and take my vitamins. And I will say taking your vitamins first thing in the morning isn't the best idea just because you usually want to have food in your stomach when you take your vitamins. But doing this in the morning helps me actually remember to take them. So for me personally, I'd rather take them in the morning than not take them at all. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend you take your vitamins in the morning but if you currently don't take vitamins then I would recommend it because it'll get you in the habit of actually taking them every day. Included in my vitamins is vitamin B12 which I mainly take because I'm vegetarian and if you're vegetarian or vegan you do need to take vitamin B12 every day as a supplement but it also is a source of energy so actually taking vitamin B12 in the morning does help me wake up so that is nice. I then feed Kaya. She is always wanting breakfast food yeah, she always wants food, so... Oh no, now she thinks she's getting her dinner. That needs to happen right away. I then wash my face and brush my teeth. Nothing crazy. Next thing I do is I get dressed, and here's another tip. I would suggest putting on workout clothes, unless like you're a night worker, outer person, you always work out at night, that's different. But one of my later tips is going to be to work out in the morning, so I would suggest, even if you're not going to work out for like a couple hours, to just put on your workout clothes, unless you're going to work or something right away. But put on your workout clothes and then you're ready for your workout once that comes. The next thing I do is go for a walk with Kaya, and since it's really sunny out right now, I currently live in Texas, I always make sure to put sunscreen on before I go out. And it depends on the day. For a while we were doing hour-long walks, but recently with my job that I got recently, I've been super busy, so I've put our walking time... Kaya, you're not getting food right now. But recently I've put our walking time down to more like between 30 and 45 minutes, so either way or. It's between 30 minutes and an hour, so we get in a nice walk in the morning and before I was a morning person, I would literally never go for long walks in the morning. Like, I would take her out to go to the bathroom, and that was about it. I would never go for these long walks. So that is one thing that has greatly changed about my morning routine recently, is that we go for long walks. And I usually work out right when we get back from our walk, just to get the workout in. But working out is going to be another one of my tips. So I guess I'll go into that tip, because that's a good segue. So tip number two is to work out in the morning. And... Again, I know some people won't be able to do this. I personally never thought I would become a person to work out in the morning, but over the past month or so I have and I really, really enjoy it. It's like you just get your workout in, done, out of the way. I feel like you feel better for at least the morning, afternoon area. It's nice to know that I don't have to work out. Like sitting here filming this video, like I know I already worked out today. I don't even have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. It's done. It's over. Also, you can shower after you work out. So if you like to shower in the morning I would recommend working out first and when I say work out in the morning it doesn't have to be like wake up and then work out like you can do some stuff or if you really don't want to go for a walk in the morning or if you can't depending on what weather is like by you right now maybe read for 30 minutes or do something for 30 minutes before you work out so I'm not trying to say work out right away because I could not imagine doing that but you know I go for my walk so after I've gone for like a 30-45 minute walk I'm ready to work out so whatever you need to do to get ready to work out unless you can just wake up and get right into it I mean good for you if you can do that I can't do that but that is my tip number two to just work out somewhat in the morning tip number three is pretty obvious and this is probably said in all of these types of videos but go to bed at a regular time make your window try to make your window of when you go to bed within 30 minutes because for me to tell you go to bed at 10 30 every single night 
that's just not realistic. It's probably not going to happen. So I would recommend having a window. So tell yourself, I'm going to go to bed between 10.15 and 10.45. No later than 10.45. So aim for 10.30, but like kind of give yourself that window. And if you really go to bed at completely random times right now, maybe start with an hour window or even an hour and a half window, then make it to an hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. And if you can make your window even smaller or have a strict bedtime of always going to bed at say 10 30 then do that but it's just not super realistic so I would give yourself like allow yourself to have some sort of window and honestly I think now is a good time to do this because with quarantine most people are working from home or their lives have changed in some way in my opinion to make this easier um, I was able to start going to bed at a more consistent time because I started working from home it just made it easier for me I know it won't make it easier for everyone come you're not getting fed right now come on Kai is still fixated on getting dinner but not right now and as for what time to go to bed I'm saying 10 30 just because that is when I usually go to bed 10 30 I would say just go to bed where you are able to get enough sleep. I know some people need more sleep than others. I feel like some people really only need six hours of sleep and they're fine. I would recommend getting seven to eight hours of sleep. I usually get around eight hours of sleep, but you do you, whatever you need for your body. Figure out what time you wanna wake up, what time do I have to go to bed in order to get enough sleep and wake up at that time. Tip number four, and I already talked about this a little bit in my morning routine, is just going for a walk in the morning. And it doesn't have to necessarily be like right away. Like I, you know, basically get up, wash my face, brush my teeth and go for our walk. You know, you can get up and read or eat breakfast or something before your walk, whatever you want to do. But I would suggest going for some sort of walk in the morning, even if it's only for 10 minutes, even if you don't have a dog. I mean, if you have a dog, you obviously have to walk your dog, so that's not an option. So just do it in the morning. Even if you don't have a dog, you can listen to a podcast. I mean, I do listen to podcasts and YouTube while I'm walking her, so you can do whatever you want. I mean, if you don't have a dog to be holding, you can just text people on your phone. I know a lot of people like going for walks like without social media, so if you want to do that you can do that for me since I take so many walks you know daily I feel like I need to be listening to podcasts or YouTube or something but if you're the type of person that wants to take part of your day to like decompress from listening to things maybe do that while you're on your walk that could be a good idea I just personally don't do that Aww. tip number five is to try this in a summer month the reason why I say that is it's lighter out in the morning like if you're watching this video right now and it's December the Sun probably doesn't rise well it depends where you live so if you're watching this close to when I post it which will be in the summer the Sun rises pretty early and it's easy to wake up when the Sun is out it's not easy to wake up when the Sun is not out so I would definitely recommend if you are watching this in the summer and you want to become a morning person and just start tomorrow like not saying you have to wake up super early tomorrow like do it in increments do it slowly but start tomorrow if that is a goal of yours because it's summer it's going to be easier for you to wake up at 7 a.m tomorrow compared to like in december not going to be as easy to wake up at 7 a.m i will say i've never voluntarily woken up at 7 a.m in the winter i mean obviously i've woken up at like 6 a.m and even earlier for work in the winter but i've never voluntarily woken up that early in the winter so it's going to be interesting once we get to winter to see if I still am a morning person maybe I won't be anymore but I do think that's gonna be weird to wake up and just have it be pitch black outside like that I don't think I'm gonna like that so that's why I would just suggest become a morning person now don't wait until December it's gonna be way harder and actually going off of that as well in the winter I'm not really gonna be able to wake up and take her for like an hour-long walk in the morning because it's gonna be really cold so my entire morning routine might change in the winter. Maybe I'll wake up later, maybe, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna walk her later in the day and that might be the only part of my morning routine that changes. I might still work out in the morning. I would like to think the gyms are gonna be open by them because I really, really miss going to the gym, but they're probably not gonna be safe to go to in a few months, so we'll see. 
But once gyms are open up again, I think that would actually be a good thing or an easy thing to kind of wake yourself up is to go to the gym to work out in the morning. I've never really done that. I think the earliest I've ever gone to a gym was like 9 a.m. So I'd actually be interested to see if I were to go at like 7.30 a.m. like how that would be. But I obviously can't test that for a very long time. So I'll let you know when I do. It'll probably be three years from now. Tip number six is actually something that I don't personally do, but I think it's something that will help a lot of you in its breakfast. I intermittent fast, so I actually very rarely eat breakfast. But if you eat breakfast or if you like breakfast or if you just love food in general, which I mean, I love food in general, but I do enjoy intermittent fasting, so I don't eat breakfast. I would recommend your entire first week of trying to wake up early, just go make your favorite breakfast. Whatever your favorite breakfast is, I mean, if it's super sugary, that's probably not the best idea, but just have your favorite breakfast and say, I'm going to wake up at this time tomorrow and I'm going to make this breakfast and it's going to be amazing. And I do think that'll help a lot. Just knowing, like going to bed, telling yourself in the morning, I'm going to have this for breakfast and it's gonna be awesome and yeah do that for like a week and if that becomes your morning routine and you have to do that every single day to get out of bed okay cool if you if it's an unhealthy breakfast then don't do that but if it's a healthy breakfast do that but if you not even just food like if you're a coffee person go get coffee or like I'm a matcha person so maybe my incentive could have been I'm gonna wake up at 7 and go get a matcha or make a matcha or just a smoothie. I love smoothies as well, so that could be an incentive for you. I'm gonna wake up and make a smoothie. Or maybe the first week, I'm gonna wake up and go buy a smoothie that tastes really good, and then after that, I'll transition to making it at home. Just something like that. Just give yourself some sort of incentive to want to wake up to have a smoothie or have a good breakfast. And again, I don't personally do this, but I do think this could be a good tip to help you getting started to waking up early. Like if you need to go to Starbucks every day for a week, to get yourself in the habit of waking up early. I mean, that's gonna be expensive, but that could help you get in the habit of waking up early every day. And my final tip, tip number seven, is to do something that's either relaxing or just in general doesn't cause you stress or something that's gonna make you feel better or de-stress. So like I've mentioned, reading, I personally, I wanna get into reading, I just haven't recently, but I know a lot of people are into reading, so I would suggest reading or like going outside. Another thing you could do in the morning is like running errands, just for the fact that if you get them done in the morning, then you don't have to do them later on. Like I actually had a few errands I had to run today and I just did them in the morning and now I don't even have to think about them for the rest of my day. I can stay home. I don't need to go anywhere. Everything is already done. So those are just a couple ideas. Leave a comment below what you personally would like to do that's relaxing because I can't really think of any other things. I mean walking Kaya for example is something that's relaxing to me. Well some of the time. She likes to bark at all the loose dogs so that's not relaxing. But in general just find whatever you need to do that's relaxing. This is really going to be different for every single person so I think you probably know as I'm talking about this you know in your head what is the one thing or two things that you need to do that's relaxing. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know below if you actually try any of these tips and let me know which tip helped the most for you. Was it the breakfast or was it having a specific morning routine? Just whatever helped you the most like this video. I do have an Instagram. I don't think I've ever said that. I always just put like a thing with my Instagram handle in my videos. So do go ahead and follow me on Instagram. If you DM me, I can follow you back. Just let me know. But I will see you in my video next week. Bye.